Hey everybody, good morning. It is Cheryl, it's Saturday, March 6th, 2021. It's a overcast day here at 1030 Mitchell Bridge Road, but uh, a great day to capture some of the updates that the Joma team and their subs have been working on. And um, I'm really delighted to be able to report on some highly visible improvements that signal to our friends and neighbors that their soon to be community destination, shelter, um, adoption center and spay neuter clinic is gonna be open soon. So here you can see that the team has poured some of the pylons to support the, um, the pergola on the outside. These are called piers, I suppose. At least that's what my friend Jean told me. So the piers will be installed probably next week. So uh, this is a really physical, tangible expression of our progress and people are getting very curious about what's going on in the neighborhood and that's great stimulating interest so as usual we've uh, we've got some work on the ceiling here just clearing out some of the infrastructure to uh, lay in the new HVAC system it'll be wrapped and it won't be so busy up there uh, get it nice and clean looking the uh, windows are going to be installed pretty soon in these two front offices. So the framing has been done. That's pretty cool. But um, I think what you're really gonna like is some of the developments out here. So again, framing in the, the quarantine uh, rooms framing for all of the doggy doors in this area which is the dog runs and um here is one of the the guillotine style doors dog in dog out <laughs> this door here the team was working on some of the transom uh, overhangs to divert water during rains. Let's see what we're doing out here. So uh, they cut a, um, a little access path so that uh, electrical lines can go out on this side of the building. So that'll be happening next week as well but perhaps more interesting to all you dog lovers is that they are getting prepared to pour concrete and then the next step is to mark out the areas where the runs will be placed for the fencing and then of course the dogs the dog doors installed there's that transom up there. Pretty neat, huh? Yeah, so let's go over here. So the team is starting to uh, lay in some of the infrastructure on the other side of the building where the three van garage entrance is. So over here, our old HVAC units. Over here you can see that they have cleared the, um, the brick from the uh, door, put in the transom, and cleared out the pad in preparation for laying concrete uh, for the dog ward run on the surgery side, right? Doggy's got to have a place to go do their business. So that's what's happening on the surgery side. Yeah. 
there's the other side. So lots and lots of preparation for uh, big infrastructure, wall movement, etc. And that uh, update for next week should be pretty exciting. You can see a lot of the a lot of the stuff is coming in. Got equipment and um, yeah, just busy, busy. Uh, Jed and I are getting with the Joma team to talk about a door schedule. Everything has a schedule and a plan. Here's the the frames. Um, the things that you have to incorporate for building uh, from scratch is just amazing. Here's some of those doggy doors. So those are some of the the uh, the things that you see here. Yep. So that's it. Uh, Joma's so busy over here lately. It's uh, just a buzz of activity. If you are ever tempted to drop by during the day to meet Jean Dara and the team and see what's going on out here, please do. Jean usually gets here at about 7.45 and he's here until about eight o'clock or so. And um, super nice guy, introduce yourself, tell him you're, you're interested in what's going on at the Athens Area Humane Society's new shelter. And he'd be happy to give you a tour about what's going on. Super exciting. As always, I'll see you next week. Bye.